Hello everyone and welcome to Control Engineering, Robotics and Control Theory Tutorials. In these tutorials we provide real and applicable knowledge of mechatronics, control engineering, robotics and control theory. This video is dedicated to intuitive understanding of Lyapunov's stability analysis. The main motivation for creating this video tutorial comes from the fact that Lyapunov's stability analysis can sometimes be too difficult for students and often professors first present very complex theorem and after maybe few classes they give examples. In my opinion this is not a good approach because students usually are a little bit afraid of complex mathematics and they would first like to obtain intuitive understanding of something before jumping on the theoretical results. This video can help you to obtain an intuitive understanding of Lyapunov stability analysis by analyzing a very simple example that you can see over here. But before I start, I would like to mention a few things. First of all, those of you who are my subscribers or who follow this channel know by now that I always create a post that nicely summarizes everything that I will explain in this video. And consequently, here is the post. This post contains figures, equations, and all the explanations. Secondly, it took me a significant amount of time, energy, and planning to create this video and this post. And consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's start. We consider a one-dimensional dynamical system that looks like this. Here, x is the state vector and it's one-dimensional. x dot is the first derivative of x. The first question is, what is the equilibrium point of this system? To find the equilibrium point, we set x dot to zero. And obviously from here, we obtain the equilibrium point that's equal to zero. Lyapunov stability analysis does not require from you to find the analytical solution of this equation. However, this is a relatively simple system and for such a simple system, we can compute or better to say find the analytical solution. And it's very instructive to analyze this analytical solution because by analyzing this solution, you will also obtain a better understanding of Lyapunov stability analysis. So let's compute the analytical solution. Let us assume that at the time instant t0, the system was in the initial condition x0. Next, we can rewrite our differential equation like this. Next, we can transform this differential equation dx over x is equal to minus dt. Now we are ready to integrate this equation. Obviously, an integral of dx over x is ln x, and over here I will write ln x. And on the right hand side, we have an integral of dt and that's basically minus t and over here we need an integration constant c this integration constant will be determined from this initial condition this equation can be transformed and it can be written like this x is equal to exponent of minus t plus c Next, let us substitute this initial condition and let us find this constant c. We have x of 0 is x0 and that's equal to minus, here we have 0 since time is 0 plus c. That is, we have that x0 is equal to e to the power c. The general solution can also be written like this. And 
end, we can see that this part is actually equal to x0. So we can write x is equal to x0 times e to the minus t. This graph shows how our trajectories behave in time for different values of x0. Remember that the solution is given by this equation, x of t is x0 multiplying e to the minus t. If x0 is positive, we can observe that our state trajectories will decrease over time. This is because of this term over here. On the other hand, if x0 is negative, that is, if the state trajectories start from here, the state trajectories, that is, x will increase over time. However, it will never reach zero simply because this is a dynamical system. And consequently, on this axis, we can observe that the state decreases and goes to zero from both sides. And consequently, the equilibrium point x star is equal to zero is asymptotically stable. Moreover, from this particular form of the solution, we can also conclude that this equilibrium point is actually, actually exponentially stable. However, I'm not going to introduce exponential stability in this video. From this example, we learned that by finding the analytical general solution of our differential equation, we can actually analyze the stability of our equilibrium point. However, there is one catch. In the general case, that is, for very general case of nonlinear systems, it's very challenging to find analytical solutions. And consequently, this method works in very simple cases. Here is the second method for analyzing the stability of the system, or better to say the stability of the equilibrium point, without actually computing the analytical solution. Here is our system. And let's sketch one-dimensional x-axis. This is x, this is our equilibrium point, x star is equal to zero all the state trajectories will lie on this line. Let this be our initial condition x0. Obviously x0 is positive and this means that the right hand side of this equation is actually negative. From here we conclude that x dot is smaller than 0. This means that if we start from this initial condition the state trajectories will go in this direction. On the other hand, let us assume that we start from here. That is, this is our initial condition. Then, if this is our dynamics, the right-hand side of this equation will be positive. This means that x dot is larger than zero. And from here, we conclude that the state trajectories will go in this direction. And consequently, we can conclude that our equilibrium point is asymptotically stable. And this was the second approach that can be used to analyze the stability without actually computing the analytical solution of our system. Next, let us analyze the stability of the equilibrium point by using the Lyapunov stability theorem. In my previous tutorial, which can be found here, I presented the Lyapunov stability theorem and I presented a few examples and consequently before reading this part of the tutorial or actually watching this video it's a good idea to go over my previous tutorial. A link to this previous tutorial is also given in the description below this video. Let us briefly recall the Lyapunov local stability theorem. We consider a dynamical system given by the equation 7 and we want to basically to find the function v of x that's locally positive definite in some domain around the equilibrium point. That is, this function has to be equal to zero at zero state and has to be larger than zero everywhere in the domain d, except of course zero. 
and time derivative of this function along state trajectories of the system should be locally negative semi-definite in D. That is, if you compute the first derivative of our V function, then it should be less than or equal to zero for all x in domain. Then x star is stable. If, on the other hand, the first derivative of the function V is always negative definite, then the equilibrium point is asymptotically stable. To be honest, at first reading, this theorem looks very complicated. However, it's not. It's very intuitive and there is more physics behind this theorem that you can actually believe. Actually, this theorem traces its roots in physics and in other fields, especially in mechanical engineering, and later on mathematicians and control engineers kind of generalize this theorem to dynamical systems. The whole idea of this theorem is to try to find a Lyapunov function such that this function is positive definite and such that its first derivative is either negative definite, which will guarantee asymptotic stability, or the first deri derivative should be less than or equal to zero, and in this case the equilibrium point is stable. So let us select this function as a candidate for our Lyapunov function. This is a simple quadratic function. Next we need to compute the first derivative of this function. And the first derivative is given over here. And over here, I'll just briefly show you how to compute this first derivative. The first derivative is equal to 2 times x times x dot. Notice over here that we are assuming that v of x is a composite function. That is, v of x is actually a function of x and we know that x is a function of time and that's why we have this chain rule for computing the first derivative. Next, we need to substitute our system dynamics in this equation since we are computing the first derivative of our Lyapunov function along the state trajectories. And by doing that, that is by replacing x dot with minus x, remember that dynamics is equal to x dot is equal to minus x, we obtain this expression over here. So we obtain that the first derivative of the Lyapunov function is minus 2x squared. This function is obviously negative definite and consequently we conclude that the equilibrium point is asymptotically stable. Notice over here that we came to this conclusion without actually explicitly solving our dynamical equation. And this is the power of Lyapunov stability analysis. That is, you can conclude something about stability without actually solving the differential equation. The next question is, can we give a physical interpretation and intuitive explanation of this stability result? The answer is, of course, yes. That's why I'm creating this video. For that purpose, let us consider this figure over here. Let us assume that at some time, t for example, we are over here. And since the system is asymptotically stable, at some time t prime will be in the state x prime. So the system goes from the state x to the state x prime at the time instant t prime. This parabola over here is our Lyapunov function. The state trajectory of the system along the x-axis, that is, this part over here, can be seen as the projection of a ball that rolls up or down the Lyapunov function. If the time derivative of our Lyapunov function is negative, this means that the ball has to roll down. This in turn means that the state trajectory of the system has to approach zero equilibrium point. Again, 
here is the graphical interpretation. We can imagine that there is a ball over here. And if the first derivative of this function is negative, this means that our state trajectories have to go in this direction. This is because the state trajectories are actually the projection of this ball that rolls down the hill. This is a very rough and loose explanation why the negative definiteness of the first derivative of the Lyapunov function ensure that the system trajectories are asymptotically stable. However, this explanation is still very intuitive and helps students to get the first way of, or better to say, initial understanding of the Lyapunov stability theorem. On the other hand, let us assume that a system is asymptotically stable. This means that v of x prime should be smaller than v of x. This follows from the fact that our Lyapunov function looks like this. And if x prime is smaller than x, this implies that v of x prime is smaller than v of x. So let us see what this equation actually implies. From this equation we obtain something like this. We can simply divide the equation by t prime minus t where t prime is the time corresponding to x prime and we can simply define delta v and delta t. So we have the delta v over delta t is smaller than zero. If we take the limit when delta t goes to zero of this quantity over here, we obtain that this quantity is v dot. That is, that's the first derivative of our Lyapunov function. And we can conclude that the first derivative is smaller than zero. That is, we have basically shown that if the system is asymptotically stable, that is, if x decreases over time in magnitude, this means that this first derivative of the Lyapunov function is smaller than zero. Similar conclusion can be obtained by assuming that x is, for example, negative, and in this case, what will happen? The trajectories will increase. However, you will still obtain something like this. You will obtain that the sign of the v dot is always smaller than zero. Okay, that will be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I create, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much and have a nice day.